Deltarune Chapter 2 is finally here. Fans have been waiting for the second episodic instalment of Toby Fox's follow-up to the hit classic Undertale for some time. Chapter 1 of Deltarune dropped all the way back on Halloween 2018. The second chapter of this game was incredibly difficult to make. At one point, Fox claimed that Chapter 2 would be complete before the end of 2020. So what went wrong? According to Toby Fox, Indecision, experimentation, and injury all made it a challenge for him and his team, including artist Temi Chang, to complete their work. Deltarune is envisioned as a much larger, more complicated game than Undertale. When the first chapter was released, Fox didn't yet have a full plan for how the entire story would tie together. So he started writing it. Not just the story for Chapter 2, but for the entire game. He created an outline for every chapter, along with initial dialogue for all characters. This was a big job, and took him several years to complete. This wasn't the only thing that he was doing during this time, though. He was also experimenting and exploring with different game engines, and creating prototypes for Chapter 2. While Undertale and Chapter 1 of Deltarune were built in Game Maker Studio, Fox wanted to expand the scope of his game. So he spent several months trying different options before eventually returning to Game Maker Studio. Fox was, as always, wearing many development hats while working on the game. He said, Unlike Undertale, this is the type of game that would normally have many designers working on each aspect of the game. A story writer, a composer, an audio director, a map designer, a battle designer, a minigame designer, and an overall director. Instead, all of those roles ended up handled by me. He had help, a trio of three additional team members working on the game on a daily basis, and several others contributing as needed. Much of the art, as with Undertale and Deltarune Chapter 1, was provided by artist Temi Chang. Even so, Fox had a lot to do, and this took time. It took even more time once he was forced to stop working. Said Fox, Although I have long suffered with wrist and hand pain, about five months ago, my wrist was the worst it's ever been. I could not play the piano, use the mouse, and could barely use the keyboard. I navigated everything through voice-to-text. It took a lot of time for his body to heal. And even when the pain began to subside, Fox needed to be careful not to overexert himself. He had to take frequent breaks to prevent causing further harm. According to Fox, his recovery would have been speedier if he'd been able to undergo physical therapy, or look into surgery for his wrist. But this wasn't possible because it was 2020 and… well, it was 2020. The process of actually completing the second chapter of Deltarune was, then, a slow process. But some things are worth waiting for. The moral of the story, even if it takes years and years, you can accomplish your goals, so long as you are filled with determination and take the breaks you need.